Hey, what's up everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. I'm showing how to remove and replace the glass on a 2016 side view mirror Camry. Uh, get yourself a uh, flathead screwdriver. Gently push the mirror to one side and we're going to put this in here and uh, we're going to separate the glass from the motor. I'm going to show you just how to do it and then I'm going to show you actually doing it in real in real time. Basically there's a, uh, a clip right here you need to push down when it uh, starts to open. But you're going to go in this way, push it out. And then it should un unclip and pop. It should come off. Uh, there, these are these wires if yours is heated. And I'll show you how to tell if yours is heated uh, at the end of the video. Besides it having wires. Um, you'll remove it like this. There are these two hinges on the bottom. You don't want to pop those off. You want to pull the glass up to get that off. So you go up with it. Like that. And uh, I'll show you guys again. I'm going to show you how to do it quickly in a minute disconnect these get yourself a new mirror uh, if it's heated it'll have these wires and obviously a heat grid on it here is my part number this is from Toyota dealership <clears throat> um, you know you, you don't have to get a heated one to replace it you know if you're a little low on money you can get a regular one but hook your wires back up and when you put this in make sure that you get the hinges on the bottom first and then you'll gently put it in place make sure that this little clip goes uh, in this little spot when you do it and, uh, and then we'll, we'll lift this up gently and then you push it you should hear it clip a couple times a couple little pops and then it should be on they're pretty sturdy and uh, yep after you get it on make sure you test it you know make sure your motors moving and everything make sure the buttons work and that it's not you know making a popping noise mm -hmm. or nothing like that uh, if it is making a popping noise, then I don't know, maybe the motor's bad. Here it is in real time. This is the other side. See, I go in here, and then I'm just, I'm just kind of applying some pressure. It pops out, and then uh, I'm going to lift up to undo the hinges on the bottom. Remove the wires. You can mark the wires so you know where they go. I really don't know if it makes a difference. Here's my part number for the passenger side, and uh, you can tell it's heated if it has a heating grid and two wire prongs.